where you can ask me all of the type of questions that you want in regards to the Commanders, the NFL, or just the whole entire sports world. You can email me now at askwangadi at gmail.com all of your questions. And once we get enough feedback, the first episode will be airing. Can you slow down? Wait a minute, girl, what's the rush now? I wanna introduce myself to you. My name is one on one, got you to prefer now. I like the way you put your fist together. I like the way you do your hair in the morning. I see why all the boys want you, girl. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with some breaking news in regards to the Washington Commanders defense and end. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure y'all go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL. Or in this case, our Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much much let's get straight into today's video so breaking news commander's defensive end shaka tony has been suspended indefinitely by the nfl for gambling on nfl games shaka tony really bro like come on man like these nfl players bro these sports players are just do the most ridiculous things bro and fumble the bag now before i recorded this video I was about to come on here and, like, you know, talk about Shaka Tony being, like, you know, like, dang, bro, like, why'd you do it and stuff like that. Uh, but he wasn't an impactful guy. So, like, this isn't, like, breaking, breaking news. You know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't, like, something that's just season ending. But it sucks for him, though, because he was already a seven-round pick, right, coming out of Penn State. He was a, a bubble guy. Like, he was a guy that, you know, practice squad guy comes up if we in fact need him or in case of an injury or something but he was never really anybody that was super important now the lions bro i just saw that the lions star receiver jameson williams has also been suspended for gambling on nfl games last year too now him he's stupid bro he's dumb like, yeah, Shaka Tony is also, like, dumb for doing that, too. But I, I understand why a Shaka Tony would do it. You're a seven-round pick on the practice squad, but you ain't making bread like that. Like, you, you still making money, more money than me, and you're making more money than the average person. But you're not, like, a, a super important guy. So if you're doing it, it's like, okay, it's Shaka Tony, bro. But a Jameson Williams, bro, a Calvin Ridley, come on, y'all. Like, come on, bro. Y'all don't need it. Y'all already making bread, bro. He's a first-round pick. And y'all know I wanted Jameson Williams too. So, Jahan Dawson's making me eat my words even more. From, from his performance on the field last year to now on this. Because imagine if we would have took Jameson Williams, bro. We would be sick. Because he tore his ACL, so we rarely got to see him play last year. And then now he's going to be suspended again because of this gambling thing. Why, bro? You're a first-round pick making millions, bro. You don't need to do that. Charlotte Tony, same thing for you. It's like it kind of, it's it's a little different because you like again you're not making that much money, but you still, bro. Come on, you are making good money, bro. Like you didn't have to do that, you know. But Charlotte Tony is definitely probably the it's probably the end of him here in Washington because he was already a bubble guy going into I want to say this may be a third year I think or maybe fourth. Uh, He's a fringe guy. Like he was a guy that was just gonna be going on a bubble. Like he's a guy that maybe get called up if injuries happen. But even before him, you got FA Body, you got Casey Tuhill that you already play over him. So he he's pretty much done in Washington. Like let's be real, you know. Now this does put Washington in a predicament to where now they must draft the edge rush. Not must, but I think they're definitely gonna be drafting the edge rush maybe late in the draft. To, to, to have some protection behind Tez and, and, and Chase. Now, um, this throws, maybe maybe may throw a wrench in their plans because maybe they wasn't thinking about 
you know, drafting the edge because they had plans for Shaka Tony to finally, uh, you know, break out in a sense, and not really break out, but you know, play some key key parts of the of the unit this year. But now that he's gonna be suspended indefinitely for a year, more likely than not, because how do you, how would it look if you gave Calvin really a year and then you don't give him or Jamison Williams a year or the other guy that was involved? Like, right? there he's gonna be gone for at least a year now. Do I think these guys deserve a year suspension? No, I, I don't. Especially when you got other people out here that has done way worse and got away with less. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they deserve a year suspension. You know, but you're an NFL player. You don't need to be gambling on games. Now, it said Jamison Williams is gambling on college games. So, it, it definitely, you still should be doing it. But, like, it's college games. You don't got no involvement in it. You know what I'm saying? So, they may be a little bit linear with him. You know, but probably not. They're probably going to try to make an example out of him. They did it with Calvin really last year. Probably going to try to do it with him. But again, he did a college game. So, like, yeah, you probably should get punished for it. But, like, not that deep. Now, Shaka Tony, he, I don't know what he was betting on. You you shouldn't. Now, let me make myself clear. You shouldn't be doing it at, at all. But a whole year suspension, I don't think you should get that. But they're going to give it to him because they, wow, it wouldn't look right. Calvin really is going to be like, bro, you gave me a whole year. You're not going to get them a whole year. Like, it, it wouldn't look right. And two, you already got the fans out there that think sports is scripted. How does it look that their players are gambling on games, bro? Like, come on. It just, it's just not smart. These people out here in this generation of sports do not think, bro. Like, use your brain, bro. Like, Shaka Tony, Jameson Williams, you know, we got the high school, bro, uh, Mikey Williams, bro, crashing out, bro, just doing stupid stuff, John Morant, like, y'all got the bag throwing at y'all, bro, just hoop, bro, like, just hoop, just play football, like, just, just, just do what you, bro, you made it, bro, like, what do you need to continue to do stuff like this for, bro, I, I, I will never understand it, bro, because I swear to God, bro, if God gave me the bag like that, bro, I'm not fumbling it, fool. I swear, bro. Like, they, they, they got it good, bro, and they just mess it up, bro. Like, I won't ever understand it, but, again, it's not for me to understand. But, hey, the draft is coming up next week, so we're probably going to end up drafting the edge in some, at some point in the draft. But, yeah, man, Shaka Tony, bro. This was this was pretty, pretty bad, man. And uh, I think your era of Washington is over. Hopefully your football career is not over. Hopefully you can shake back. But I think this is the end of Shaka Tony in Washington. So, hey, man, let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section down below. Your boy Shaka Tony gambling out here on NFL games or sports in general. Let me know what y'all think, man. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. See you in the next video. I'm out. Oh, shaking my head. Uh, cost me one time, that's gonna get you pop. Get you pop, no.